story that came back to me. It's really interesting. When at 13 years old, she joined this cancer group called Teenager Living with Cancer. That was the best thing ever happened to her. She feels that for the first time, she can express herself. She can speak the same language with other kids who had cancer, who was also in the cancer group. Her self-confidence grew so much that day. And when she picked her up on, at her first meeting, she was transformed. Yeah. She also joined some cancer group called, te uh, not teenager, it's a, it's a camp for kids. And she went to that camp. And years later, she also volunteered this camp. 
she wants to help other kids also who had the same cancer that she had. Not the same cancer, but she was not treated with cancer. She wanted to be a nurse. So at college, she registered as a nurse and she, was in, she got into the program. After a year of college, she decided that she could not go, to the, to go back to the hospital. It hurt her so much to see the, the kid at the hospital who was under treatment. It's bring up too, too much sugar here, too many sweets. So after a year of college, she went to Europe. She planned three years to Europe. She raised the money, she worked for the money, she worked, but she raised the money and she got to Europe for three years. She came back, she said, Mama, I want to go to the hospitality program and help people in another way than mm -hmm. So she graduated as a hospitality major. When she write a colleague to say, the last sentence she said, I would not know what was my life without cancer. I would not know that I met so many interesting people to the curse of my childhood that made me who I am today. I'm proud of my daughter. She turned 25 last month. Mm -hmm. She bought her first home this year. Mm -hmm. She got a new puppy. Mm -hmm. And last Monday, she left for Europe with a 15-pound backpack mm -hmm. for three weeks by herself. And she's traveling to <coughs> four countries country in Europe. She's a very strong and determined girl, and now she's waiting to see if she will have this supervisor job at her work. Thank you so much. Number two.